In today's video, I'm gonna show you the three steps you need to take in order to sync Gig Performer across multiple devices or across multiple pieces of software using Ableton Link. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with building a stable live keyboard setup with mastering sound design and with the ins and outs of Ableton. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so keeping multiple pieces of software or even multiple computers synced to the same clock can be extremely important if all of the members of the band are playing in time to one metronome or if you're trying to play in time to a track. Uh, if they're not sunk to the same clock, then you can get strange things where your arpeggiators and your delays don't quite sync up the way that they should. But Ableton Link makes this entirely possible to do, and you don't have to have Ableton in order for this to work. I'll actually leave a link in the description below to an unbelievable, very long list of Link-enabled apps that you can do this with. But for today's demonstration, I am going to be using Ableton Live. All right, so here we are in Gig Performer, and I've got two sounds with some time effects on it. First is a square wave with an arpeggiator. And the second is a piano with just a delay. So in order for these patches to sync with uh, an external clock, all you gotta do is come in here and check that sync with external clock. And we'll do the same here, oops. Double click and choose sync with external clock and hit apply. All right, so now these patches are going to sync with an external clock. So that's our first step. Now, our second step is to turn our external clock on or to set up Ableton Link. So we'll head over here to song mode and you'll notice in the top right, there is a button that says link. That does also exist in the rack space, but you're probably gonna be performing in song mode. So we'll click link here. Um, and now, as soon as there's another Link-enabled device, Gig Performer is going to pick up on that. So, let's head over and enable Link in Ableton. In the top left-hand corner, there'll be a Link right here. Now, we have one more step to make this really work all together. But before we get there, leave a comment below and let me know what program you are trying to sync Gig Performer to. Um, all right, so our third and final step is we have to adjust Ableton's latency so that Gig Performer and Ableton are perfectly in time. And whatever program you are using is gonna have a way to do this. So we're gonna test by starting a click. And now I'm gonna play some sounds and we'll hear Gig Performer produce that time effect. So this is pretty close, but not perfect. So we're gonna adjust that by coming in here and clicking this D. Track delay is gonna come up, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change this track delay until our arpeggiator syncs with our click perfectly. All right, so now we are all set. Now the beauty of this is it actually will work no matter what the tempo in Ableton is. So if you were running a track that changed, your arpeggiator is gonna change with it. So we'll start this click now at 105. And now when I switch to 90, Gig Performer is gonna stay in perfect time. And the same even at 60. And if I were to move to my other patch here, I'd still be in perfect time. Now, if you got value out of this video, I want you to go ahead and check out how I set up versatile patches inside Gig Performer. And if you wanna work more closely with me, I've got a link in the description below where you can book a private session where I can help you set up a really intelligent keyboard rig that works for exactly what you are doing. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time at livekeyboardist.com.